It's uh, Steve from SFG. Let's get the camera around. A bit light through that. Uh... Right, I'm in my kitchen at the moment. I've got a um, Mega 1721. Yeah, yeah. MTF 1721. Um, I usually calibrate it myself uh, once a month, as per you know, as we all should do. Uh, check its um, tolerance. Uh, my meter is actually I've had this calibrated twice within a year. Uh, one because I didn't like the company that uh, calibrated it. I had some bad bad reviews about them, so I got it independently calibrated as well. Um, anyway, mine is due for calibration, and the second of the seventh. 2022 um, it was calibrated before then let's see if I can read the label uh, you see what I mean uh, so the company that calibrated it just just under a year ago which I heard bad reviews about um, I can't even see a sticker on here in fact um, the only sticker I've got on here from them is date required the 9th 2020 so it would have been done the 9th 2000 uh, due for renewal on the 9th 2022 but I recalibrated uh, by another company just because I had bad reviews um, I thought the reviews was enough I, I did have a uh, don't know how much I can say actually in a nutshell I had bad reviews off somebody and they was confirmed off somebody else Totally independent from my original review. Um, re the reviews are all dead. So I thought, well, you know, it's a bit of a smoking gun. So I bought um, I bought a tester myself and calibrate a check calibration myself each month. Um, and I'm just about to do it again. It was calibrated at the beginning of this month, but. Um, I'm changing the batteries so I'm gonna do it again and that'll give me a good chance to show everybody what I actually do when I calibrate it I know the batteries are a bit low so it might show a bit more of a uh, discrepancy let's get these batteries out of the way right let's make sure it's clean these new batteries get that out of the way and I'll um, I'll just turn the camera around don't know if I can turn it around at the same time as what I'm talking Let's give it a try now I'll be back all right I'm back right I am so I'm putting new batteries in Before anybody asks, oh no, I'm not dating the batteries. Um, in a nutshell, if I change one, I'll change them all. So I'm going to change the battery here to indicate that all was changed. And I'm only going to put the month. So it's a fifth twenty-two. There it is, fifth twenty-two. Like I said, don't need to change them all. Um, if I change one, they're all changed. So by me taking the cover off, I can see instantly 
as you can hear, that's one of those chains. Now my mate thinks that they, uh, they use the batteries up quite uh, quite harshly on this meter. Uh, I suppose it's how, how, how often you use it. Maybe you leave it on, but I'm quite satisfied with it. Uh, I've got my trusty 11 and wire, which is dog old. Right, okay, so, oh, so that's one, I don't know if you can see that. So that's reading 10 volts, that's that's great, that's uh, done. Right, so, let's put that over there. Right, guys, um, I've, I've changed the battery in my uh, tester. This is not a demonstration on how you do it. I'm just showing you what I, I do. Um, I do it monthly, regardless. I also do the um, calibration. Sorry, I get the calibration done once a year, as I've said before. Uh, this is just to check it. We all have to do our monthly tests, again, some sort of verification. And I use, obviously, uh, this one, the QTEC um, FC2000 checkbox. Um, so I'm just doing some basic tests and uh, what we'll do is go on to continuity. First of all, I don't know if, can you see that? Yeah, the light's on. Okay, so I've changed the batteries. I just want to just check my meter over, make sure everything's okay. So I'm checking the leads. Okay, that tells me that the needs, leads, I'll get my teeth in. I'm still trying to break them in for my granddad. Um, yeah, um, he said he don't want a back now there. Right, I'm just going to press the so it's uncalibrated leads now. So sorry, unnulled leads. I'm going to null the leads, and we can start off on our tests. So first test is half a home, or half a home. Okay, so we got point four nine. Check fine. On the next one, we got one ohm. Okay, that's fine. Next one is two ohms. Two ohms, fine. So the next test is going to be insulation. So I'm just going to do it on uh, just for this test. I'm going to go to the. I can even change the leads over. So common, and I'm going to go to point five of a meg. So. Um, I'm going to do my test. I forgot you got to hold it in on this. So there it is, 0.5 uh, mega ohm. Next one is 2 meg. So I'll put it in that lead. Test again. Okay, nearest dammit, 2 meg. Next one is 200 meg. 200 meg, yeah. Nice, the voltage would be high. Right, next one is, I'm gonna change my leads. I wouldn't normally, but I am gonna because it's easier for me to do the demonstration. Normally I put my three leads in with the QTEC uh, test block in there and use the same leads, but it is what it is today, lads. I'm idle. So I'm using all three ports. Right, first of all, I'm going to go for air loop. So, so that's the mega telling me that there's a voltage on when there shouldn't be. I'm going to go to, okay. So I'm going to do a, take a ZS. I'm going to do it on two wire. Two wire low just for this demonstration. Oh, right, I keep on forgetting. On the two, on the two leads, you can do it on two wire low. So I'm going to do it on three, three wire low on this one. I'm local, so it's just going to check what this is. Uh, let's go for it. Q 
you only about 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Okay, so 0 0.73. So I've got to remember 0 0.73 because my next test is going to be, I'm going to go switch it over to one meg. Right, so it'll be 0 0.73 plus what, one meg. Something there, something around that. You'll get a cheat sheet and you have a look and see what it's supposed to be within the tolerances. So that's okay. Right, I'm going to go to, um, so it's showing 1.64 mega ohms. Sorry, I'll rephrase that. It's added one ohm to it. Now it's going to add 100 ohms to it. So I'm going to test the test again. Okay, so because the resolution's a lot higher, it's just seeing a hundred ohms, um, and it's took off that uh, that initial ZS. Right, next thing you need to do is our RCD tests. So I'm going to turn the checkbox off. I'm going to go around to auto. Normally I do it all individually. Put it on thirty milliamp. And what I'm going to do is uh, do this live test on the RCD. Flip the switch over. I don't know if you can actually see it. I'm trying to get the display showing here more than over there. But I flick it over to RCD. I'm going to turn it on again. Now, just to show you that it's going to sequence them through. But it's also, if I bring the, the camera like that over the top, let's get it a bit higher. See if I can get a whole lot in. Press the tester. So you see the LEDs on by, by the plug here. So that was uh, 30 milliamp now. 30 milliamp second phase. 150 milliamp second phase. And 150 amp, sec sorry, second phase again. And that's it, test ended. So let's get this back so it actually lines up with what I was looking at before. So if I scroll through, I've got to keep my teeth in here. Right, so we've got infinity. Okay, so this is our first test and you can see it's one times. So at zero degrees is 36.4. At 180 degree, degrees, it's 36.8. So that's a recording you would do. Probably put 37 in instead. Round it up. So, zero phase five times. I don't know if you can actually see it. Yeah, you can down the bottom corner. Let's keep that light on. Uh, so it's at um, five times. 36.2. Zero degrees. 180 degrees is slightly higher, 36.4, so that's one you record. And that's it, test ended. So basically, you've, you've got your measurements there. Like I say, I would normally do it on um, individual uh, tests and then rotate the phase myself, um, but auto, it's just, just as good. So you're basically just covering your own back and, um, well, proving that your meter works.